in today's video, I show you what I focus on to grow my business and reach my goal. And I will share it with you. So maybe there are a few things you can learn and take with you. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block, and we make social media marketing simplified. So we are taking complicated marketing and advertising strategies and converting them into easy, understandable step-by-step -step action so that you can implement them into your business. And I will show you today on the five things I focus on so that I can reach my goal and so I can grow. I was reading so many posts of agents in Facebook who are just starting out or who want to take over a new market or coming back into the real estate business and was all asking this question. And my response to those questions was very simple and we are going in today. So you want to take a lot of time to build your visibility because if nobody knows who you are they certainly will not use you or cannot use you because they don't know you and they can not now connect with you if nobody knows who you are they will certainly not buy from you so you want to make sure that you figure out your ultimate goal. That is the number one thing. And from there, we are going backwards. So you want to know, you want to figure out what is your end goal. It could be the amount of sales you want to have. It could be in GCI. Whatever your goal is, make sure that you write it down. And now the second step is you want to build a strategy to get to your goals. First, you need to build or need to know what your ultimate end goal is. It could be this year. It could be in five years, it can be in 10 years, but let's assume you know already what you want to do in 10 years or in five years, but you need to reach your goal this year. So write it down and now build a strategy around your goal like I'm doing. I am working on my visibility as well as you are probably. I am using social media. So I know my strategy and one of my strategy is organic reach, but I also know to get faster to where I want to go, I need to advertise. So you can have a strategy, you can build it organically, and then when you build it organically, you want to make sure that you are getting in as much of people as you can. Maybe you are living in a community, there are community meetings, community events, you are going to the Chamber of Commerce, whatever your strategy is, write it down and now build your organic strategy around it so that you get a lot of visibility. We all just need visibility so people know who we are and what you do. When you want to to get a little bit faster to your strategy. Now I know I need to put some advertising money behind it. And I build out my video campaign so that I can get in front of a lot of people using social media because that saves me a lot of time instead of going to events and traveling. Now I'm using social media so that people get to know me slowly and who they are. Now that I have this strategy, now I know I have to build campaigns around it, but now I know exactly what to do. And the next step is going deeper into the strategy. So I would recommend I'm spending a lot of time on strategizing what is the next strategy, what is the best strategy if the one strategy doesn't work, and it takes a lot of testing. So make sure you build some time and know exactly what you want to do. Also, you want to make sure that you know what your message is to your market. 
Now that means you need to know who your ideal client is. Do you know what they do, where they hang out? What are they doing in their free time? Do they have kids? Are they married? Are they divorced? Are they widowed? So there goes a lot of thinking in there too. Before you even can go into all and implementing your strategy, there it's a lot of research you need to do, a lot of understanding so that you understand who your idle client is. For me, I can see my idle clients are between 35 and 55 and they are women. I know that for a fact. And then I can go even deeper because I can read all the insights social media is giving me and I see who is responding and it, who is not resp responding. And the strategy of building my videos helps me to understand who I'm speaking to and who I'm reaching and who is engaging with me. Yes, social media gives me all those information in the back end. And so I know who my client avatar is and who I'm speaking to. So you want to make sure that you know uh, if you are talking to women, if you are talking to men, if you are talking to younger families, if you are talking to family with kids, if you're talking to the older generation. So make sure that you have a good understanding and now you can build your message to your market. If you are representing a buyer or if you are representing a seller, those content or those messaging is very, very uh, key because now your fourth or my fourth thing I am focusing on is my content. I know my message to market and now I build my content around it. How to build my content around it? I use videos. I use video view strategies. I use reach strategies. I use Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising. So I am using different strategies to get my content out. But also I need to build my content for my market with my message to my market. So you want to make sure that your content fits to your market and that you are speaking to the people you want to speak to. I build my content with video. I do have a content strategy. And there I spend a lot of time there too because I build it out for a month so that when I am once in the flow, I'm building it out. And now I know exactly what I want to do and each and every day. So here, Wednesday, you know, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, I will be here with you live and giving you some insights what we can do. And maybe you can take those ideas and implement it into your business. So that is my content. I have a content strategy once again, built out. And usually I only do it once. I did it once. I have it built out for the year. And now when I going back, I take a look if that strategy still works if that content is still up to date and if not now it's a good time to update it and get it out into the market so that my people still see me and get my message to my market and the fifth and very important is your consistency it takes not a day, it takes not a week, it takes not a month, it takes a few months before I got my visibility in the market, before people even responded, it takes work and consistency. Also, I consistently test if my message to market works. When I found a winning content. Now I know exactly what to do in the next strategy. So you want to make sure that you are staying consistent. You need time, but also when we are looking for buyer and seller, now we need a consistent flow of new client opportunities coming into your pipeline because now buyer and seller are taking much, much longer time to get to know you 
and now they make the decision if they even want to work with us. So make sure that you have built everything out for consistency and know exactly what you are doing. So most likely you are coming here because you know I am here Wednesday 12 noon. Once again, it's one of my content strategies and one of the strategies I am using. You see everything works together and when you are staying consistent, then you will see you will have consistent new client opportunity coming in, asking questions, getting to know you, message you so that you now can start a conversation. I am not using social media to generate leads. I am using social media to generate conversations. That is my main focus. My main focus is to generate conversation so that people can get to know me. I'm using social media strategies to build those messages. And now that I can stay consistent in front of people with new content so that they can use because now it also it's just not about content, it needs to be valuable content. So that is my strategy I am focusing on and those four, five things even is first I'm building out my goal. I understand exactly what I want to do, where I want to be in the next 30 days. 60 days, 90 days, 365 days. So all is already built out. And now I know my goal. And now I build my strategies around my goal so that I know how to reach my goal. So I want 100 new client opportunity in the next 90 days. To reach that goal, I build a strategy where I go at least three times live during the week with videos so that I can start conversations. Now that we are starting conversations in Messenger, now I also want to make sure that my content is structured around reaching my goal of having 100 conversations within the next 90 days. So I'm building my content and I'm also using a strategy paid and I'm using it organically. When I see that something works, now I put some money behind it so that I can get quicker to my goals or that my strategy works. Then I know exactly the content or I build my message and build my message to market content so that I know exactly to who I'm speak who I want to reach and what my value is to my audience. And now my fifth point is I am very consistent. I am consistently going live. I'm consistently getting videos and show you what I am doing or what we can do for our community so that we can reach people and start conversations. I'm starting conversations in Messenger, and that is my main focus so that people are messaging me or they allow me to reach out to them in Messenger. I have a strategy for that as well. So if you watched my last video, how we built the strategy, so that is something else. So you want to really, really focus on your goal, take time to build out your strategies, create or know your message to your market. Now that you know your message to your market, now you create your content around it. And the only thing that's left, be consistent. So I, I hope this helped you today to understand what I am doing in my business. So I gave you a little bit insight and hopefully you took a few points from it and are implementing. All those videos don't do you any good if you are binge watching and not implementing what you are seeing or what you think may be helpful for your business. So if you want to or if you learned one thing today from my insights and the five things I am focusing on and you think, oh, 
oh, that I maybe can do too. Now, don't forget it, write it down and go into implementation. That is the most thing I also can give you this way. Don't binge watch, watch, write down what you learned and now put it into action and implement it into your business. So I hope that helped you today. Thanks for watching this video. I will be here once again next week, same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.